today's project is going to be working on some holders for curtain rod rods in the camper. So in the main part of the camper, we're going to have about four windows that need curtain rods on them. The bedrooms, we're going to just going to use the, the more simple white metal things that hold into little clips that you see in a lot of places. Whitney does not like blinds, and I don't particularly like them either, but we're trying to steer away from that in this instance, and we're, we, we typically stick to doing curtains. So rather than going out and buying curtain rods like we've done in the past, I've done a little bit of working on making some curtain rod holders in the house we're living in right now, and so I'm gonna try and do something now for in the camper. So we will see how it goes. All right, first thing we did is stripped a couple boards down and we're gonna see if we can get eight hangers out of these now two pieces of wood. If not, I've got some more scrap wood I can use. I'm not gonna use this one first, I'm gonna use this one first. All right. So, we want them to be able to stick out away from the wall a little bit. So let's plan on them all being about three and a half inches long. How's that sound? Good. Something I discovered in one of the last times I tried to make these is I would try to cut the curve out that the rod would sit in and every time I would try to do that with my jigsaw, then it would end up blowing out the end of it. So my plan this time is to drill a hole through where I want the, the uh, rod to rest and then cut the rest of my uh, hanger out around the hole that I cut. So we're gonna see how well that works. Go on. Two of them done. Yep. All right, the hooks are finally on the wall. I pre drilled these holes um, because I've had experience with that kind of stuff splitting out in the past and because I really there's very specific spots we wanted these to go um, just because of being around the windows so I wasn't going to rely just on the screws holding to the wall I also have you can see on this one there's a little bit of glue um, I glued these to the wall as well um, just to make sure no matter how big a curtain or how heavy a curtain we end up putting on them, because we are going to try to put some pretty thick curtains on these to help with insulating the windows a little bit, especially in the winter time, and uh, should be able to hold it no matter how heavy the curtain is. So, we've got some dowel rods to use for our curtain rods. I may go out and actually buy some little end pieces to hold on there and make it look pretty and help hold those in place. But there we have it. There's another window. One thing I wanted to show you about this window, when we were buying them, we found a pretty good deal um, on the dowel rods. Um, and I neglected to remember or measure 
the size of these windows before I bought the dowel rods. So we have two different dowel rods here that I used. Um, I do need to sand this off still. What I did was I drilled into the end of both of these and I had some just uh, two inch um, wooden dowels, just small uh, pieces. So I, I drilled into these ends. I put that wooden dowel in there and glued, glued it to both sides. So it actually is a pretty strong um, connection now. It might actually, um, we're probably more likely to have a breakout here in the middle of this um, than we are to have right there where that's glued. So that is how we got around having dowel rods that were too short. Um, and again, I'll probably just go out and get some end pieces to cap on the end of these, make them look pretty, and to help keep them from falling off. So there we have it. Dowel rods in place, hooks on, and another project done.